Paul had a bad day. <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I can, you know, I need to preach, but I, I, I have a bad day. And we all, we all have bad days, don't we? And so, in the next few minutes, we're going to look into what is it that Paul did and what was the heart of God for this city. So we understand Paul had a very, very bad day. We understand that he just heard from God the most uplifting message of all. I'm with you. Nothing bad is going to happen to you. In fact, stay here because you're here for a reason and for a season. I have many people in this city. And I'm thinking to myself, Paul must have been on his knees praying and asking God, am I needed here? Is my job done here? Maybe I should just go away. You know, when we're having a bad day, that's probably what goes in, my, in our mind. And, and I'm, I cannot be but just reminded of Psalm 145 that says, uh, the Lord upholds all who fall and raises up all who are bowed down. And then he goes on and, and says later on that the Lord is righteous in all his ways. The Lord is near to all who call upon him, to all who call upon him in truth. So we see God was there, the uplifter and the encourager of Paul, when Paul needed that encouragement. We all have those moments, not only when we preach the word, but even on our daily conduct of life. But more so when we do the work of God, and trust me, if you do the work of God, expect some major opposition. And we know that. We know that because Paul said already in 2 Corinthians 4, 8 and 9, we're hard pressed on every side, yet not crushed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Struck down, but not destroyed. He acknowledged that there are difficulties, but it's not over. In fact, he will move forward, he will go on, and he is drawing from the Lord himself his encouragement.